Welcome mates, I am Bloodthirsty Lord, Banker with Lordy, and today we're back once again for another Prayer to Hunter Grounds video. And within this video, we'll be highlighting the Viking DLC straight from Valhalla and all its glory. We'll be playing it in our first look with the Viking Prayer to DLC within Prayer to Hunter Grounds and also using the Battle Axe as well, which is one of the newest weapons within the game. Also highlighting a very good perk combination with this build, with this character, and making it overpowered, hopefully. That's the goal. But before we do get into this video, there's only a small percentage of mates that watch the videos that are actually subscribed, leave a like to show support, click the subscribe button to keep up to date, press that join button to become a member of the channel. So without further ado, let's get straight into this. So let's go to our customization. We get to see the bike in Predator straight away in its glory. Look how crazy that looks in the platinum skin for the body armor and the helmet as well. Looks crazy. I love the fur coat, the body uh, trophy as well for the Bobcat and also for the skull on his right shoulder as well. And the outfit itself looks sick. Look, it looks really good with the class itself. It feels like a Berserker just reskin or Samurai class reskin from the way it looks. There's obviously unique combinations with the character as well for skin effects. We'll talk about that maybe in a future video. But let's highlight the weapon as well and the stats of Viking. So the Viking stats are right over here. You use 4 health bar. You have stamina bar at 1.75. Movement speed at 1. Gear at 2. A very unique combination. It's pretty much tanky as hell. And then lacks everything else in the other departments. So that's something to keep in mind. The class attributes for the class of Viking do highlight the bio of the Viking is stronger and slower than even the Berserker. Making them a ferocious adversary rather than using additional gear they lean on more on their own abilities as a show of strength that is so cool love it it is crazy good and the battle axe let's highlight that as well that's the way it looks it's pretty cool it is two-handed so it's not one-handed like we thought he carries it with one hand when he's about to go for a slash it's two-handed so it makes sense well to buy the viking prancer of the north this powerful two-handed battle axe was forged for devastating close range attacks against ferocious norsemen the secondary attack provides a heavy overhead swing with increased damage to any prey it finds few would ever look upon this blade without it cleaving their skull very beautiful and that's actually a good combination of a buyer for his actual weapon it fits into that category pretty darn well especially the heavy attacks and that combination because he does have a light attack and a heavy attack from that bio sick and we're going to try to highlight the battle axe as much as possible within the gameplay. So we can use the net gun, healing kit, uh, bear traps as our main combo. So we get to use the battle axe as the main weapon. Uh, perks, imperishable, large, pouch, and fearless. Pretty much bringing all the elements that the Viking Protector has and making those even stronger with imperishable, large pouch. We get to heal more if we can't find piggies. Hopefully we can, that's always a benefit. And fearless will also allow for heavy hits to be two hitting. So that's very fun. I want to highlight that as well. Also, mates, I know this video is a little bit late because there was something with an issue with purchasing the DLC. I purchased it and then Epic Games client said we didn't have it in game and I couldn't purchase it again. So it just bugged. Had to, had to talk to customer support, got it fixed, and now we get to play the Viking Prater. Pretty cool. <laughs> but now let's use the Battle Axe, use the Viking Prater in our first look and destroy some fire teams. Let's get into it. So we're jumping onto the map backwater with the newest, latest DLC. The Viking Predator, looking pretty clean in that platinum gear. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Can't wait to actually customize it more and more, but we need to get more currency in game in order to do so. <laughs> so for now, this is good enough. So the Predator does not have a unique roar from the first glimpse of that, so that's something to keep in mind. And also, his plasma caster is in the same position as the Samurai Predator. So the way it comes out, so we shoot that and look back at it. There you go. And he gets hidden within there and gets concealed once again. It has that same benefit. And the armor overall with the fur coat, the skull on the right side of his shoulder it looks pretty sick. It looks beefy as hell, that's for sure. And that's the idea. And he does have his battle axe as well, to so highlight that as well in the sunlight. Perfect. So that's the battle axe, looking pretty clean. It's a one-handed slash two-handed battle axe. So for certain attacks, it would be carry with one hand, but then obviously he uses two hands to actually attack. So that's his line attack. And it seems to take no bar at all. And it's kind of slow, and it's only a two-hit combo. Or two hit chain, so keep that in mind. So I'm guessing there's a bit of thrust alongside that. And then his heavy attack, which he does leap forward. So I'm guessing if you do run around and then leap towards a target, it will lock on onto a target. Hopefully good enough to actually kill them and not have some poor tracking issues. Because melee weapons are notoriously known for having those tracking issues within this game. Only some weapons like the Elder Sword and Circle hit pretty well. And also with the perk feelings that we've highlighted in our build, it has the potential to two hit characters. So it's pretty darn dirty to have that combo within the game. So what we're going to try to do right now is activate some alarms, if possible. So we have to go towards this side, because the alarms usually are. And we'll find out where they're hiding as well. So use our tight isolation. They're right here. Perfect. They've already cleared up the majority of the AI here, so that's kind of unfortunate. But we're going to pretty much get that guy into the net. Take our battle axe. Go for a heavy strike. 
Nice damage. Another heavy strike. Four oh, gone. Destroyed. Very nicely done. Now we can just wait. He missed the actual strike there. Perfect. They have come towards here. The pigs here as well for the mission. We have a canister and also a bear trap, which we're going to place straight away as they turn the corner, hopefully. Oh, that's a unique position. I got him. Perfect. That's a strike there. Actually, I'm missing everything now. But look how far that is. Oh my god. Strike again. And then one more strike. Actually, one more. There we go. So that was one heavy and into light attacks. And it takes that much to actually down someone. Heavy. Very nice. Heavy again. Very nice. Let me get out of here. I gotta move, gotta move, gotta move. So we've lost the majority of our health from that engagement. But you're pretty much like a brute force with this character. It's like a berserker class. Somehow even crazier in that aspect. We do have large pouch, so let's use that to our benefit. Let's start to heal up. Behind over here with our med kits. So we have four med kits. It'll drop down to three. But we do get back to full HP. And we've also downed a class being a support class twice. And also recon class once. So we're about to get some stealth kills going very soon. It does feel like a bit slower in gameplay. So that's something to keep in mind. And the battle axe, I don't know why it does miss some of the attacks. Like, I was so close to that guy and I was trying to cleave and it wasn't landing. We'll keep testing it. It's, it's got some crazy damage, I'll give it that. That's AI there, activating the alarm. Let's go for some damage. So that was the support class that we've dropped so many times low. Oh my god, that was pretty dirty. I wonder if you can collateral hit with this. Like, cleave multiple enemies with your heavy attack. This is the light attack and the charging animation for that is really awful. But it does have a good cleave, so that's usually good enough. So it ends up still being useful, the cleave damage. I don't want to chuck my bear trap yet. Wait, he's actually got revived three. Let's go for this. Oh, that was the stuff. There we go, got the strike. That's going to be into a stealth kill scenario. Very good for us. We're going to go up here. We can actually use a plasma cast too. That's very nice. Let's couple down. I used the actual EMP grenade, but he totally missed me, so I'm happy with that. Are they going for the revives? We can try and find some piggies as well. Because that would be benefit for us as well. Okay, we got kills there. Piggies down here. Not too bad. Also, the net gun is having some problems. Piggies become invulnerable. So, you can't actually kill them. So, make sure all invincible in, in this case. You can't kill them with your wrist plate on your net gun. It's some bug that's happened. There's been a, quite a bit of bugs when it comes to the practice kit overall. And I don't know why. Kind of sad, kind of sad. But... We're going to try our best with what we have. So we got a stealth kill animation, and you know we're going for that before he gets that med kit. Okay, Sail, he got it. Get some damage. Now we have to move out, because we can't actually full commit there. If we full commit, we'll end up dying. So if you go for two heavy strikes, it looks like your bar usage is gone. Do not commit to anything further than that, because it's just a dead zone for you. And also, something to keep in mind, they are a member down. Can we get to the Thank you. Let's chop on this piggy right over here and feast and get our HP back, like we usually do. So it seems like you do commit to that two heavy hit attack. Do not go for light attacks after it. I think you should just ditch and then use your plasma cast on your shoulder. For the way it looks. I think that's maybe the best way. And now I've lost him again, because I have to be constantly healing. Okay, I found them. Perfect. Not bad. I can charge up this attack. Oh, some crazy distance. Okay, he's pretty much dead. Oh, we're going for it. Oh, that was crazy. Oh, I wish I wasn't invisible. Oh, I could have seen it better. So that's one play down. Let's go for this other strike. Heavy strike into it. It missed. But it's got some mad, like, leap range. But the tracking. We'll try to commit to this just to see. Let's commit. Wow. That missed from that range. Okay, you can hit it. It's just really awkward in angles. But now let's go to another peak again. Because I'm just going from one peak to another. Constantly. I think the peak's right over here. There we go. Perfect. And because the class is actually slower than other classes in movement speed, it becomes kind of annoying. Because every time you go for a pig and then you expect the player that's down to get revived, he's got revived ages ago. And he has a healing kit most likely. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe we go for another stealth kill. While not being invisible. I'm happy with this. Let's try and do it. Oh, we actually healed up. Hey, that was a mad chomp of damage. We may not go for the stealth heal yet. Let's slide and then strike. Oh my god. 
insane damage right there. I don't know if that guy was really tagged earlier, but that pretty much one-shot him. That was insane. Let's get this. Quick claim it. They can't see me as we do it. Perfect. The Viking Predator, man. Customization-wise, very cool. He's Axe. I don't know if it's actually me for him. It feels like I could use it on other classes. It can work out better. I don't know. We'll find out as we go. I have to go chomp on this guy here. There we go. Slam. Fly hit. He's dead. He dead dead. We should have to get the revive. Oh, I go for a stealth kill, but I don't want to... Okay, actually, maybe we should do it. Maybe we should just get it over and done with. So, one man down, and I kind of feel kind of sad on that aspect. Maybe not... Let's go over here first. Let's heal up. I don't want that green texture all over me. I get the blood. I want to be clean in that cutscene. They should have gave a unique raw to the Prancer as well. I feel like that's so cool. If you buy a class, you want that unique aspect to the class itself. Instead of having a standard raw. Oh, no, 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 no. And they killed him. I don't want to kill him. Oh, he's going to die to AI, isn't he? I don't want to die to AI. So I'm trying my best. Can we get this? There we go. Got it. Perfect. Execution. you to love that. It was in the grass, which was kind of unfortunate. You can't really see it as much. But he just slams you on the shoulder with the battle axe and pretty much throws you to the side. It's pretty good. And the armor is actually sick. I love the engravings. Viking engravings on armor have always been something cool. And I've always enjoyed Vikings in general. So it was kind of fun to play that first look, that first match with a battle axe. And also with a Viking Prancer. I don't know what's weird about it. I don't know if it's the Viking Prancer or it's maybe the weapon. Something feels like it's a little bit off. And I feel like the weapon's tracking can be fixed. Because if that could land more often than it does, it could be something crazy. Like I could see some insane build potential. So we're trying to jump into another match and highlight it even further. Because I feel like we shall do that and hopefully get a team that has a four-man stack. Let's get into it. So we're jumping in part two for another backwater match with a Viking DLC on our builds. Which is pretty much highlighting the Viking Prancer with his battle axe being OP. That's the goal. Because it actually is pretty strong. I'll give it that. The Fearless with the actual battle axe and two hitting on heavy strikes is pretty good. Compared to like the Samurai Predator DLC, with, even with the Katana it takes like four hits to five. With heavy strikes to actually down someone. That's alongside Bleed after time too, so that's something to keep in mind. So crazy difference, but there is a longer animation, which I feel like you'll find did spend time making that animation, so it's more unique than other melee weapons. But also, it's very unforgiving if you do miss it, because of bad tracking issues, so that's something to keep in mind. You don't want to miss that strike, especially the heavy strikes. The medium range strikes, or the light strike, sorry, I would never actually use it. I'm trying to think of a situation that it's good. It's only when you guarantee you're going to hit one to two enemies, and you're very close to them. Like, very close, and they cannot run away or dodge it. That's when you use that. The heavy strike, you can use it, but you need to make sure that you're going to hit them. Because if they move a little bit to the left or right, they can actually strafe it. So that's something in mind. I'm going to activate the alarm here. Let's try to do that. And let's see what mission they're doing, if it's over here. Is it a piggy mission? No, it's not. Quick Stargazer. Let's get over there. So I'm not seeing them here. Or they end up hearing them, if they're over here. They're over there, Stargazer. Sick. Or the pipeline over here. Where the silos are. I think it is. I think it's actually the, pile, um, the pipeline and the silos. It is perfect. Give it a strike. Heavy. Oh, wow. Strike. I'm right in the doorway. This is kind of awkward. Look at his damage. Oh my god. Look at that. That is the, the weakness of this class. By far. What is that? How much damage did I take from a neutral weapon? That was some insane damage. What class was it? Assault? Assault plus Deadly. Oh, he's running an AR build. So there's new um, fighting things that have been happening. They've got buffed quite a bit with the latest patch because they got specialized perks within their classes already. So it's just like an additional perk for different gameplay opportunities. But that can actually ruin us here. Because <laughs> a Deadly perk is pretty darn strong. Essentially, you run Yautra Bane and a good AR, like a Hammerhead, it is like crazy good. Look at this. They see me. Potentially. They can't land it. They can't land this hit. Let me get this. Perfect. I think I'm going to try and land the shots. I can see him. But they're not going for any shots, which is perfect to me. Yeah, I've got to be very careful with the way I engage this. Okay. Let's see. 
I don't want to go inside. Someone placed it right over here. Oh, I'm stuck because my body of my character is too big there. That's nice. There you go. Very beautiful. Because I guaranteed that hit combo, I can actually do something like that. With no issue. Stack that there too. I can get up on my own. Perfect. Heavy attack. Heavy attack. He's down. And keep rinse and repeating. As much as I can. There you go, got it again. Perfect. Now I'm gonna move. Hopefully he doesn't see me. Come on, don't see me, don't see me, don't see me. Perfect. Got it, got it. Perfect. This is really risky. I would never actually go for this with this type of class because I'm too vulnerable right at the moment. Let's go for a strike. Nice strike. Now move. Move back in. Is there anything I can actually do? There isn't. Got it. Perfect. He has to use a combination of abilities in order to get this actually going pretty well. So you don't do that, it's going to be awful. Another bear trap. Oh my god, I failed it. It wouldn't go forward. Okay, I gotta move, I gotta move. So that's the issue there. So I can see some problems with this class already. Even though it could be really good, but I don't think the potential of this class is meant to be using the Battle Axe and the Viking Predator. For some reason, it just doesn't feel right. I feel like you could use other weapons on this class would be crazy good. Like a sickle. That would be insane. Can't get it. If that kills me, I'm gonna be a little bit tilted. Okay, it doesn't. Perfect. So I feel like using a sickle elder sword on this class, on um, maybe the same exact build, just replace the weapon instead of being a battle axe being that weapon there, could be insane. Like I see like some crazy potential. Got that, very nice. I wanna charge that person there. It's my battle axe. She's running, she's running! Oh no, we missed it. Okay, well, I'm not going to be able to hit that, am I? What? Are you serious? i got to move, i got to move, got to move, got to move, got to move. Get me out. Perfect. Okay, sick. Oh my god, I'm a bit worried about that. That was going to be awful. Let's heal up right over here. Jeez, man. It's good that we have large pouch on this build because we can just keep using our healing kits. But second wind, when you do lose that, you have to be very careful with your gameplay. Just be super careful. Nice, let's cancel that. Crush our full HP. Let's go for some damage. Maybe a stealth kill too. Stealth kill? Oh, that was dirty. That is dirty. I love it. And especially because it's quick, it's usually fun when you get quick stealth kills. So they take too much time, they can make you really vulnerable. Let's go for attack here. Nasty stuff. Bear trap set up. Jump towards here. Got one of them. I'm gonna jump towards him. Juggle it. Attack. Attack. Get me the hell out of here. Oh my god. Now move away. Find some peas. Over there. Like that the most unique angle. Oh my god, why can they spawn down here? I'm hoping they don't know about this spot, because people do check this quite a bit when it's closer to the water. It's right over there. Okay. Get that? My buy mask is nearly destroyed too. You see it gassing up, steaming up. You gotta be careful with that. And I don't want to lose that on a Viking Predator or Beefy Predator, because you become very vulnerable when you don't have enough information to get piggies and such. That can get quite annoying on a class like this. Here we are though. The main lab? I think main lab, yep. See him. Nasty stuff, they actually landed. I was a little bit worried about that. Is the Skylar's open? Oh my god, Skylar's open. Oh, this is your death. That's your death. There we go. Oh my god, went flying. He went flying. We have eight minutes. We could rinse and repeat. Potentially. Uh, I can't get a stealth kill. I was going to go for it. Give me out, give me out, give me out. Six, six, six. I need move, I need move. Perfect. As long as I don't lose second wind here, I'm pretty happy. 
Okay, cool. Sick. Any peas? Oh, uh, we can't tell now, can we? Jeez, I have to actually hear him. Come on, piggy. Piggy, piggy, piggy. <laughs> I'm not gonna find any. Uh, so this is when you actually need to kill them straight away. Wait, I could've just used the piggy I killed earlier. Oh, uh, I thought I used it already. Uh, that was a mistake. <laughs> I thought I already used that piggy. Oh my god, that's why biomass helped quite a bit as well. But it's alright. No issue. I'm just wondering if I full commit to kill them straight away, or allow them to go for revive. Because a class like this, I don't think you allow them to go for revives as much when using this build. Because it's not a good idea. Especially with the new classes on fire team, they do some crazy damage. It can actually ruin Apprentice Day. They're spawning there though, so it's not too bad. May actually have to set up a net gun. Uh, shot. Let's see. Well, I gotta move, because I'm gonna die here. Okay, sick. Nearly dead. <laughs> ah, it's awful, man. And I don't see any peas, which is really bad. Because that's the biggest issue when you don't have a buy mask, you don't see the peas. So, there's a chance that you can lose because of that. Just make sure you keep that in mind. I'm hoping they go to Stargazer again. Because if they do, it's in our favor. Because we have... Oh, is that a claim or a piggy? It is a claim. No piggies available. Alright. Well, gonna force out the healing kit. Didn't want to, but I have to. Oh, now it's gonna get a little bit harder. My only issue is if they try to get to the chopper just in time, I can't actually fight the chopper. There's no way that this class can actually engage against that. And hit all four targets in time. That's only the issue I have. I guess I have traps to delay them, but I've used quite a bit of my traps already. I have two bear traps and a couple of net gun shots, but net guns can only do a couple of things. Oh, we'll see what we can do. Oh, they're doing this mission. Okay, it's not bad, it's not bad. Got that. Get me out. Oh my god, I stood in position. That's so weird, man. Why is that a thing? It's actually awful when that happens. And I'm trying to engage and there's like absolutely no way that's gonna work. Where are the peas, man? Like all these spawn points, there's no peas. They spawn here. No clue. One healing kit left, and things will get difficult. Can I see any from here? Nah, nah, nah. If I somehow, if there's somehow a piggy on screen and I can't see it, I'm going to be so devastated. Nah, okay. Well, I'm going to force this. And hope no piggy spawn right after this. Oh, maybe a whole bunch of piggies spawn right next to them before they get to the next part of the mission. The way they do this pipeline, they're doing the next pipeline, they're going to end game. Oh, no, 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 no. We need to kill them too. I want to try and kill them. We've got three minutes. It is very scarce. Like, I have other builds I want to try on the Viking Prentice soon, which I think will allow for more kill potential. But I wanted to highlight the Battle Axe as the main weapon for this build. Just to give you guys some interest to see what it actually is, give my opinion on it, is it good, is it bad. Because right now, it's mid tier with Felix, makes it pretty good, but it depends if it lands. Like, if it lands, god damn, it doesn't hurt. Like, look at that. Crazy damage. And I'm lagging. Oh my god. Nice damage. Keep stacking, keep stacking. Oh my god, I missed it. That was one of the opportunities, just gone. Well, that sucks. <laughs> I don't know. I do not know how this is going to go. 
This is pretty hard. I'm gonna give that. Got that kill. Happy. That's one down. Uh, keep moving. Keep moving. Come on, piggies, man. Where are the piggies? Spawn here. Spawn. Spawn. Come on, man. Blizz. How is there no piggies? Oh my god. I'm super unlucky. I can't see any. Not even one. I'm shocked. Like, completely shocked. Oh, no, 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 give me out. Oh, my God. Got him. I need to get an angle on this guy. Actually, on this one right over here. Perfect. Nice. Got it. Oh my god, man. I didn't get the full kill. That's so devastating. How is it not one piggy? Like, why wasn't that a thing? Oh my god. Do I full commit and just die for it? I'll try to pull him back with this one character. Is that even possible, man? Come on, come on! Oh, they escaped. I uh, couldn't get him. That was unfortunate. I think we did the best we could there. The best that we actually could with that build. Oh my god. That was insane. Look how much blood is covered on my predator. And I tried to survive that, but that is super hard to survive. You use that full kit potential, but even then, and this character being so tanky isn't enough. I don't think so. Not with that build. Uh, it's like, it's really good for the, the perk Fearless against the Battle Axe. That's when it becomes really strong. And we allow them to revive. If we didn't allow them to revive at all, we could have actually been pretty done quickly, I think, with this build. But when it comes to allowing them to revive and trying to kill the whole team again, not the best for this class, or this build. Make sure that's something to keep in mind. If you want to go for Team Wipe, make sure you use this build, because you go for a Team Wipe, but do not allow them to revive in any capacity. Because if they do, they will have a chance to win the game like they just did there. But that has two sides of the spectrum when you get a match where you can just completely destroy, and now the match where it's 50-50, and then it goes into the fight team's favor, because they do so much damage, and we have no piggies at all unfortunate and but a great build and a great gameplay to highlight overall with the viking predator as a first look with that and also battle axe and i think it is overpowered but only with the fearless perk if it's not with the fearless perk i think it could be a very big miss and no pun intended with the bad tracking that happens with the weapon but it could be a hit or a miss with this build so keep that in mind when using it but mates tell me your pins and thoughts in the comment section down below i'd love to know and as always it is a pleasure to have you guys on the channel as we go through this i'll catch you mates next time bye